Good day, students. In this clip, we're going to be going over an example on how to solve um, predictable motion equations problems, which involves the application of uh, quadratic equations. So let's go ahead and consider the, this um, question. Problem one, we have uh, the following situation. It says an object is projected into the air with a path described by the quadratic function h of t equals negative gt squared plus v sub zero t plus h sub zero where h of t is the height in feet at t seconds, g is the force of gravity, v sub zero is the initial velocity, and h sub zero is the initial height. If root is a baseball that can be approximated by the function h of t equals negative 16 t squared plus 64 t plus three. Part A, what is the maximum height of the baseball? At what time does the ball reach its maximum height? And then B, um, at what time will the baseball hit the ground? Justify your answer. All right, let's start with uh, the first part, part A of the problem. It says, what is the maximum height um, of the baseball? So H max can be found by evaluating H at T max. T max is the time at which the ball achieves its maximum height. Okay, so um, how do we find T max? T max is the same thing as the x coordinate of the vertex of um, a quadratic function. Okay, so um, what is the formula for finding the x coordinate of the vertex? So use negative b over 2a. All right, so the function under consideration is h of t equals negative 16t squared plus 64t plus 3. We can clearly see here that a is the coefficient of the square negative 16, and b is the coefficient of the t, the second, the first degree term, which is 64. All right, remember the order for a quadratic equation in standard form. This is a, b, c, okay? All right, so these are the only two we need to compute the um, t max. So the t max, which is the x coordinate of the vertex, uh, can be determined by evaluating the expression negative 64 over 2 times negative 16. Now, all I just did is I substituted a and b into this negative b over 2a formula here. All right, so using all the operations, let's, do, let's evaluate the denominator first. We have negative 64 over negative 32. And then when we divide, minus over minus is plus. 64 over 32 is 2, 2 seconds, okay? So this is the time at which the ball attained its maximum height. But we want to look for the maximum height also. What was the value of that maximum height? So that's h max. h max is h of t max. So what is t max here? t max is 2 seconds. So we're going to evaluate the function as t equals 2. All right. So that simply means wherever you have 2 t in this equation right here, you substitute 2. So you're going to have negative 16 times uh, two, 2 quantity squared plus 64 times, putting another two, square, I mean, not square, sorry, that's three. Okay, now we're gonna use all of operations to evaluate this uh, this um, expression right here. All right, so we're gonna do exponents first, negative 16, two squared is four, plus four, plus 64 times two is 128, plus three, and that is equal to negative 64 plus 131, okay? And when you combine these two, you end up with 67 feet. All right, so this is the time when it achieved the maximum height, and this is the maximum height, okay? So let's uh, combine the two answers into one sentence that will answer the two parts of part A. So the baseball, the baseball attains its maximum height, its maximum height of 67 feet in two seconds. Okay, so that's that for the A part. Now let us shift our attention to the B part. It states, at what time will the baseball hit the ground? Justify your answer. Okay, so when does the baseball hit the ground? So, um, 
with the baseball. Let's write that. The baseball. The baseball hits the ground. Hits the ground when h equals what? What is the height when the baseball is the ground? How far is the baseball from the ground when the ball is on the ground? Is zero feet from the ground. Okay, so by setting our quadratic function uh, equal to zero and solving, that would help us determine the times when the distance of the ball from the ground was zero. Okay, so what we're practically going to do is we're going to solve this equation right here. So um, h of t, we know what h of t is negative 16t squared plus 64t plus 3 equals 0. Okay, now let's try and see if we can solve this by uh, factoring. That's the quickest way. So let's try the x game and see if we can factor this. ac goes on top. ac is um, negative 48 and b is 64. So are there any two numbers that multiply to yield negative 48 and add to give you 64? That's the question. So let's let's go ahead and ex write list all the possible integers who, that multiply to give you 48, okay? So 48, we know 1 times 48 yields 48. 2 times 24 yields 48. 3 times 16 yields 48. 4 times 12 yields 48. And also 6 times 8 um, also yields 48. Okay, so can we get a result of 48 by combining any of these two pairs? The answer is absolutely not. Right, this gives us 49 or 47, this gives us 22 or 26, this gives us 19 or 13, this gives us 8 or 16, this gives us um, 2 or 14. So none of them yield 48. So what does that mean? That means that this quadratic equation is prime. So how do you solve the quadratic equation that's prime? We can solve that by either completing the square or using the quadratic formula. Okay, so let's go ahead and use the quadratic formula because that is the condensed version of completing the square. Uh, x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4ac. This entire expression will be divided by 2a. Okay, so let's list um, the value of each variable here. A is negative 16, B is 64, and C um, is 3. Okay, so we're going to plug in all these values into the quadratic equation. Now the variable, our independent variable is time. So T is we're going to take the position of, or take the place of X. All right, so we have T equals negative 64 plus or minus the square root of b square is 64 square minus 4a negative 16 c 3 and this entire expression divided by 2a okay all over 2a which is 2 times negative 16. okay so um, let's simplify this a bit we have negative 64 plus or minus now let's go ahead and enter this expression in, in the calculator, okay? All right, so I'm going to be using my uh, TI-89 titanium here. Uh, so we have negative 64 plus the square root of 64 squared minus 4 times negative 16 times 3. Okay, I evaluated the whole thing. Let me let me evaluate the uh, radical piece first before I show you the final answer. Take away the square root part. Let me make the calculator a little bit bigger. Okay, so um, that's the expression. So we have four thousand two hundred and eighty-eight. Okay. So let's write that down, 4,288. And then we know that 2 divided by 16 is negative 32. Okay, so we have two potential uh, solutions here. We're going to be using our calculator for, for this one because we're going to be accepting, I'm going to be accepting our approximate answer. So um, T is either going to be um, 
do this this way. T is either going to be negative 64 minus 4288 over negative 32, or it could be square root here, or it could be negative 64 plus the square root of um, 4,288 divided by negative 32. Okay, so it could be one of these. Let's go ahead and plug these two options into our calculators and see uh, what answers we get. Okay, so let's do the first one. The first one is um, parentheses, since we're going to be dividing negative 64 minus the square root of 4,288 divided by negative 32. So we have 4.04 or 4.05 to two decimal places. And let's uh, look at the other one. We just changed the minus in front of the square root sine to a plus, okay? And in that case, we get negative 0.4 0 0.046, okay? So we have T is approximately um, 4.05 to two decimal places or 0. Point, negative 0. 0.0463, okay? So let's put this in two decimal places also. So this would be two, 0. 0.005. All right, these are time measures. So if we look at our two answers, do they both make sense? The answer is no. If you're looking at time, time only travels in one direction, which is forward. There's no such thing as negative time, okay? So since we do not have negative time, this answer is not uh, valid. This is the only result that we have. T is equal to, um, T is approximately 4.05 seconds. All right, so what does this answer mean? It means that um, the uh, baseball hit the ground after 4.05, or you can write it in the uh, exact form, negative 64 minus root 4288 over 32, negative 32 seconds okay so that's that's the answer to to the b part so thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation feel free to subscribe to my channel so you can get updates to other cool clips such as this and feel free to post the comments to let me know what you think about this presentation thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day